Today we're going to talk about essential tactics for taking notes and organizing your personal injury claim. If you don't write down all the details of what happened at the accident scene, you will quickly forget. Good note taking and organizational skills are essential in successfully negotiating a personal injury claim. Written documentation of important facts, statements, and other related information will result in a higher settlement offer. So, after a car accident, you must write down the four what's. 1. What you see. 2. What you hear. 3. What you say. 4. What you do. These four simple rules will remind you to collect all the information and supporting evidence you'll need for the insurance claim. Good notes can mean the difference between an average personal injury settlement and a substantial one. So let's focus on taking notes at the accident scene. Much of the important information and evidence you'll need for your injury claim can be collected at the scene of the accident. Once the scene is cleared and the participants and witnesses are gone, that window of opportunity closes, and it becomes harder to gather important evidence. That's why it's always a good idea to carry a pen and paper in your glove compartment or console. No one expects to be in a car accident, but in the event you are, it pays to be prepared. Your notes should include the following in regards to the vehicles and people involved. The at-fault driver's complete contact information. License plate number, make, model, and color of the driver's car. The driver's insurance information, the policy number and company phone number. Names and contact information of all passengers and witnesses. Statements made by the at-fault driver, passengers, and witnesses. Then, you want to note the official responder's information the names of the paramedics and their contact information, names and badge numbers of the police officers, service or reference number of the police report. You also want to note the environment and circumstances, including the date, time of day, and weather conditions. Any damage to road signs, guardrails, or other solid objects damaged in the accident. Your written version of the facts, including a chronological summary of the events leading to the accident, the accident itself, and its aftermath. Here's an accident information form to keep in your car in case of an accident. Now your note taking isn't done when you leave the scene of the accident. You have to continue taking notes after the accident. If you're transferred by ambulance or driven to the hospital after the accident, continue taking notes. If you're physically unable, you can have a close friend or a family member help you. While you're at the emergency room, you should write down the following. Address and telephone number of the hospital, names of the ER physicians and nurses who treated you, dosages of your prescriptions, copies if possible, name of the pharmacy, telephone number, and pharmacist's name, contact information for the hospital's records department, so you can request copies of your medical charts. If you see your primary care physician or any specialists, you should write down the following. Your doctor's name and contact information, referrals to other specialists, copies of any medical releases or HIPAA documents, instructions on how to obtain your medical records. Once you have all the information and thorough notes, it's time to organize your claim, and here's how. A personal injury claim is a process. It begins at the scene of an accident and ends when you receive the settlement check. Successful injury claims are often hard fought. If you want to be successful, you must be proactive. This includes taking good notes, acquiring important documentation, and organizing your paperwork. Part of the claims adjuster's job is to have all relevant data collected in her file. That way, she can quickly access specific information at any time during negotiations. You must be just as organized as the adjuster. You should be focusing on negotiations, not on finding the right piece of paper. So here's the best way to set up your file. You need one or two accordion folders with tabbed files. So you have a total of at least 15 separated sections. Make copies of all your notes and every other piece of documentation you've collected. And make a tab for each of the following sections we're going to cover. The following are the 15 sections where you should file your documents. Section 1, Statute of Limitation State, date the claim must be settled or a lawsuit filed. Section 2, At Fault Driver's Information, Driver's Name and Contact Information, the car's make, model, color, year, and license plate number. Section 3, All the Insurance Information, Your Insurance Company's Policy Number and Telephone, At Fault Driver's Insurance Company's Name, Address, Telephone, and Policy Number. Claim adjuster's name and direct telephone number. Copy of initial notification letter to insurance company. All correspondence between you, the at-fault driver, and the insurance company. And the claim number. Section 4. Medical documents. Paramedics contact information. Hospital name. Address. Telephone number. Names of ER physicians and nurses. Copies of prescriptions. 
pharmacist's name, address and phone number, copies of hospital charts, test results and medical bills, authorizations for release of information. In Section 5, your medical diagnosis and prognosis. This is where you'll put the original medical diagnosis and prognosis for your injury as written by your doctor, including estimated cost of future treatment. Section 6, Letters of Protection. Letters to physicians and medical treatment providers guaranteeing payment. Section 7, Witness Information. This would include witnesses' contact information and witnesses' written or recorded statements. In Section 8, Photographs and Videos. This would be originals and copies of photographs and videos of the accident scene. In Section 9, File Your Police Report. This would be a copy of the police report, and in this section you should include the police officers' names and badge numbers. Section 10, Settlement Negotiations, including chronological notes with date and time of all conversations with the adjuster. In this section you'll also have written offers and counter offers. Section 11, Lost Wages, written verification of past, present, and future lost income, signed by your employer. Section 12, Any Out-of-Pocket Expenses. Here you'll want to put copies of receipts for prescription medications, receipts for over-the-counter medications, slings, bandages, etc. Also, parking and gasoline receipts. In Section 13, you can file your legal research documents. This would include copies of any articles, cases, or reference materials you use to help your claim. Section 14, Property Damage. Here you'll have information related to property damage and the cost of repair. Section 15 can be miscellaneous. That would be any other information related to your claim. It's important to never submit original documents to the insurance company. Always send copies and keep the originals in your file. The only exception might be when you sign the insurance company's release for medical records related to the current injuries. The importance of good notes and organization can't be overstated. You must be able to access vital information during settlement negotiations. And remember, the adjuster wants to settle your claim. That's her job. But she can't do it without credible evidence, so give her what she needs. Provide so much supporting documentation that she can only settle in your favor. And with that, we conclude this discussion on Essential Tactics for Taking Notes and Organizing Your Personal Injury Claim. To learn more and to get a free case review, visit InjuryClaimCoach.com. Thanks so much for watching, and best of luck with your case.